I'm not gonna lie, I feel full. And I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a second wind. I'm gonna have a Krispy Kreme donut. Oh no. That is literally a heart attack on a spoon and I am going to eat it. Woo! Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I think, is gonna be me. <laughs> attempting to do the 10,000 calorie challenge. Now, I'm not sure if this is like a completely stupid idea or not, but I have watched the 10,000 calorie challenge videos on YouTube for years and I've always wanted to do it. Don't mind that little patch on the wall that's not been painted. <laughs> I've always wanted to do it and when I've watched it, I've thought, yeah, I could do that. I feel like I eat 10,000 calories and now after going shopping and actually picking up the food I'm thinking no maybe not I can't do it but I really really want to do it because I feel like it would be worse if I hit like 8,000 calories and didn't complete it and then I've just eaten 8,000 calories for absolutely no reason so I'm hoping that I do it I've been to the supermarket to get some bits now luckily for me I actually love anything sweet so my cupboard already is stocked with like sweets, chocolate, pancakes, <laughs> anything that's bad for you I probably already have in the house. So I didn't need to go and get that much stuff but I just don't know if I'm going to be able to eat all. I really have no idea but I'm going to give it a good go. So there's only two rules. The first one is that it has to be done within 24 hours on the same day. So I'm going to start at 12am tomorrow, which is basically midnight tonight. And the other rule is that you can't drink your calories. So anything that I'm drinking throughout the day won't count. It kind of sucks, but I guess it's there to make it harder. So I'm going to check back in with you tonight at 12am and I will be eating my first meal. Wish me luck. Please like, please subscribe now. And fingers crossed that I do it. See you later. Right, okay, food is here. I am absolutely starving. I genuinely feel like I've been on countdown waiting for the food to come. I'll show you what I got. Seven chicken strippers, some cookies, which is obviously for afterwards. I got the pizza garlic bread. I got the big dip, now controversial, but I don't actually like the garlic and herb dip, but we move and then I got a large pepperoni pizza. So in like my actual working out of the calories, I have said I'll eat four slices of the pizza. I don't wanna think that I'm gonna eat loads and then not and then have to build up the calories like in another way. So hopefully I'll be able to eat four, maybe more. I did order the garlic bread, which I haven't actually put in the calories yet, but obviously once I've eaten, I'll put the calories on the thing. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I feel full. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna watch some YouTube on my phone and I am gonna eat these. I've just finished this bag of sweets and I'm not joking, it, I'm literally four minutes into the video. So it took me four minutes to eat these. It was 81 calories for a third of the bag. So it was 243 calories for the whole bag, which say you can eat 200, nearly 250 calories of sweets in four minutes pretty shocking to be honest that takes my total to 1960 i might try and get something else in before i go to bed it's so late i feel like i might be able to eat some ice cream i don't know i also feel like i'm not gonna be able to go to sleep tonight because i'm gonna be on such like a sugar rush thank you Okay, so I'm going to start on the ice cream. The one I got was the Ben and Jerry's Rain Dough Cookie Dough Twist. So it says vanilla ice cream with a swirly rainbow sprinkled cookie dough center and colorful chunks. 
I have had this before and I think it's really good. It says that 100 grams is 274 calories and this is 402 grams. So if I eat like a fourth of it, that's another 274 calories. Okay, so I'm about a fourth of the way through. It's good. The total calories for, for now are 2,234 calories, which I don't think is that bad. Going to bed, I will see you in the morning. Good morning. So it's about nine o'clock now, which isn't as early as I wanted to get up. I originally had planned to get up at about half seven, eight o'clock to eat something, but I literally just couldn't get out of bed. I didn't go to sleep till like half three, I think, which is just so stupid. But I also didn't sleep very well. I don't think it was anything to do with the food, but I just had really bad dry mouth like all night. Maybe it was like the high levels of salt in the food, I don't know. But I was up like three, four times during the night as well to get a drink. I'm not overly hungry, but I never really am, like in the morning. Okay, so what I've got for breakfast is croissants. Now, croissants actually have so many calories in, which I had no idea about. There's 250 calories in one croissant, which is crazy to me. So I'm going to have two croissants. I'm gonna have a Krispy Kreme donut. Let's make them. Mm. I'm gonna try and eat these. I feel like croissants go down really easily, so which is why I'm so sure they've got so many calories in, but then my friend was like, well, they are made up of like six delays of butter, so kind of makes sense, but. Okay, so. Two croissants down, which adds on. That takes my total up to 2,734, which I don't think is bad for 20 past nine in the morning. So I'm gonna go and have a donut, and then that should take me to around about 3,000. And I feel like that's good for this time in the morning. These are just the best. Like, I could eat Krispy Kreme donuts all day, every day. Okay, so that then takes me to 2,934, but then if I add on the butter, which was 74 calories, that then takes me to 3,008 calories. So my plan is to get up, get ready, go to the gym, and then I think on the way back from the gym, I'm going to go to McDonald's. So I should be able to bulk up some calories there. I will see you in McDonald's. Right, I've just been to the gym. I think I'm going to try and get a double quarter pounder, because apparently that has loads of calories in. Hi, do you have the double quarter pounder? Double quarter pounder, yeah. Please, can I have that as a meal? Is that medium or large? Large, please. Oh, actually, can I get six chicken nuggets as well, please? Six chicken nuggets? Yeah. Is that for you? Yeah, that's great. Right. Thank you. So it's been really fun then, please. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Did you ask it for, ask with it, with nothing on? You didn't ask for, oh, oh my. my God. The excitement of your burger. I didn't ask for it plain. Does it come with sauce on? Uh, pass. Oh no. Right, okay, I'm gonna start eating. Got the goods. Obviously I got this double quarter pounder with cheese, which has salad on it and I don't like salad. But I'm just gonna like try and pick it off. It doesn't look, to be fair, there's not like any lettuce or anything. So I've got the double quarter pounder with cheese, which is what I'm gonna eat now. And then I got a large fries and I got six chicken nuggets as well so i'm gonna try and eat all this this should be like a pretty bulky meal but i'm gonna put the calories up anyway at the end i'll tell you like what they add up to but i'm gonna try this 
that's all right to be fair. I feel like I could eat this. So. Three. There is three there. It looks like two, but last three. I'm going to work out the calories now. 1,453 calories for that meal. And if I add that on to like my daily, 4,461. I feel like I need to eat more. Okay, so I've got these 20 flapjack bites from Tesco. Each flapjack bite is 63 calories. So I've worked out I have to eat nine of these to take me over 5,000 calories, which I don't think is going to be difficult to eat nine of these. Like they're literally so small. I feel full. Like if I wasn't doing this challenge, I probably wouldn't eat anything right now. But I don't feel like I can't eat another thing. So I'm going to try and get them down now because I'm worried once the food settles, I won't be hungry. So I'm going to try and eat these nine. <laughs> and to be fair, I feel like I might be able to do these nine. <laughs> nine of these. Let's go. Okay, number nine. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> my face hurts from chewing because these are so chewy. So I'm glad that I'm on my last one. Right, okay. I finished them. Go on and chew like. Anyone else's I do that? Wait. Can you hear that? It was making a weird sound, like a squeaking sound. I am now on 5,028 calories and it's just before one o'clock so I don't feel like that's bad. I'm gonna do some cleaning because I really need to do some cleaning and I'm hoping that once I've done the cleaning I'll like get some more appetite as well so I'll be hungry. My camera needs to go and charge so I'm gonna do all them bits and I'll come back and update you when I next eat something. It's now 10 past two. We have a guest. <laughs> she's got her fingers in acetone so she can't move her hands but I need to eat something so I'm gonna have another original glazed donut I have already had one today and then I'm gonna start on this again So, I've eaten to about, let me see if I can, there. So, I'm like just over halfway of the tub. I'm going to add it up afterwards, but I'm just going to have some Watsits as well because I'm still hungry, so I feel like I could still eat food. Right. I feel like the food is now catching up with me. I only managed to, I reckon I've only had like one serving. I don't even think I've touched any more than that. I will add up the calories and I'll let you know what I am on. Hello guys. So it is a little bit later on now. It's actually half past four. I am looking a little bit different. And the main reason for that is because we have people coming over tonight. Now I have made them aware that I may be in a food coma by the time they get here. But we've planned to have Chinese. After my donut and ice cream, I am on 5,667 calories. So I definitely need to bulk up before I have my Chinese. What I need to try and do is eat as much food as I can. And I don't really know what to do. Now, I could go and have some of the dominoes that was left last night. We all know that I have a huge sweet tooth. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to like eat high calorie sweet foods now because I don't usually ever get like sick of sweet foods if you get me. So I have a tub of Biscoff spread. 
Now, I have like already eaten some of it, so I imagine it says that there are 400 grams in the whole tub and I think I've probably eaten like maybe like 100 grams. There's probably like a fourth of it gone. So that probably leaves about 300 grams left. But I'm thinking if I can melt that and like pour it on either some donuts or maybe some ice cream that will be able to bulk it up because per 100 grams there's 584 calories now i have definitely eaten a full jar of this before so that is shocking so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna eat two of these which will be 400 calories plus 300 grams of the biscoff spread which will be i'm gonna need my calculator 2152 calories which will bump up my total to 7,819 calories, which is crazy. Okay, so <laughs> there's three. Basically, I weighed out the Biscoff spread and there was only like just over 250 grams of Biscoff spread left. So to bulk up the calories from that, I thought just add another donut and hopefully I'll be able to eat it. Now, I eat Krispy Kreme donuts so easily, as you've probably seen throughout this video, and Biscoff spread is the best thing invented. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to eat this, but we shall see. Oh my God, I actually can't believe I've never eaten this before. That is bango. I'm not gonna lie, this last donut is a little bit tricky. A little bit full, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm still trying, <laughs> but I definitely feel full. Okay, I'm on the last piece and I'm just trying to get as much bread as possible. <sighs> that is literally a heart attack on a spoon and I am going to eat it. Mind game, it's a mind game. Just don't think about it. Just watch telly. I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. <sighs> it looks like all in my mouth. Okay, that it's gone. I'm not gonna lie, <clears throat> I do feel a tad bit sick at the moment. That was definitely the hardest meal to eat. Ew. Let's total that up. So I had, calculator, 250 grams of Biscoff spread plus three donuts, not two. 2060 calories that meal was i cannot believe i've just eaten 2060 calories that actually makes me feel a bit ill plus what i was already on which was five six six seven equals seven thousand seven hundred and twenty seven and it's nearly ten past five so i feel like i might get there you know it's now 10 to 7 and I'm thinking I could probably I could probably peck on something. So I'm thinking I could have maybe a slice of the pizza from last night. And then that way I'm not only not wasting food, but you know it also counts. So every piece is like 200 and something calories. So So I've just had three slices of pizza. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I felt really sick before. And now I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a second wind. Each slice of the large pepperoni pizza is 240 calories. So, plus 240, plus 240, plus 240. I am now on. 8,447 calories. 
I think I'm gonna do this. Okay, so I have changed my mind. Obviously, I said my friends are coming around, they're having Chinese. I was gonna have Chinese as well, but I've like looked to try and find like calories of the Chinese food and stuff like that, but it's really difficult. Like I don't actually know how many calories are in each part of the meal. So they're all gonna have Chinese without me and I am gonna make my tea. And I'm thinking that I can make like a really creamy tomato-y pasta dish because I could eat that for breakfast, lunch and dinner. This tub of double cream in the whole thing, which it's not even that big, 300 milliliters, 100 milliliters, there's 467 calories. I reckon I could get away with using 200 milliliters in a sauce with chopped tomatoes, which obviously the chopped tomatoes have like no calories in. It's like 100 calories in that as well, lovely. I have a massive tub of pasta. 358 calories in 100 grams. That much is 200 grams of pasta, which I feel like that is actually mental. I cannot believe that's how much 200 grams of pasta is. So if I include 200 grams of pasta, 200 milliliters of cream, the chopped tomatoes, including spices and stuff, I'm not gonna put any calories in for spices because I doubt there's any calories in spices. All together, that meal will be 1,650 calories. And if I add that onto my total, that will take me to 10,097 calories and I'm gonna add cheese on so it's gonna be even more than that but I'm actually gonna hit 10,000 calories I mean don't get me wrong my stomach is definitely bloated and is definitely hurting like when my stomach gets really 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 bloated sorry I had to move you there because the lighting was awful but when I get really, really, really bloated, like my stomach hurts, like physically hurts, like to touch. And it's definitely doing that and it definitely hurts. I don't feel hungry. Like if I wasn't doing this, I probably wouldn't eat anything now. But I definitely feel like I can eat this. So I'm gonna go ahead, make this, and then I'll show you me eating my last meal of the day. Okay, so I have my meal. I mean, it is a pretty big bowl of pasta. Everyone else, by the way, is eating Chinese. I did tell them everyone else is eating Chinese. But, you know, gotta be counting the calories. So, I am gonna get on and eat this. Mm. You're over the hill. Try and avoid the drinking that and you'll be able to fit more in. Okay. You like me? And that is it done. Right guys, so I've completed the 10,000 calorie challenge. I don't feel very well. I've got a very, very sore belly. And I don't know whether it's all the cream. Maybe I'm slightly lactose intolerant, who knows? But um, yeah, I don't feel too good. But that is it. I actually can't believe that I've done it. I didn't think I would, but very proud of myself. So if you're watching, please like, please subscribe comment, do whatever you want to do. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>